Hi, good evening. This is kind of the Brady Bunch thing. I don't know, algorithm. Yeah, oh, uh, original guide to Spooky Empire, you know, OG, here we are. Uh, this is going to be a very special episode because we are going to be talking about like holiday craziness and stuff you should buy because we say it's awesome. Um, basically, and I know you guys know this, shopping small is huge to a lot of people, especially this time of year, because I mean, it's kind of like a double gift because not only are you getting something original for say yourself or your spouse or your mom or your mailman or your fuck boy, whatever, or, you know, you also are doing something and uh, helping out somebody who has a small business, you know, I mean, hey, Rob, why, why should you shop small business? You should shop small business because you don't want ha big business having your business. You see, they, they got spies. They got people watching you. And when you buy that 42-gallon drum of lube from Amazon, which I know you bought, guess what? They're going to share it, and you're never going to get a good job again. So that's why. Shop small business. Yeah. I mean, I know. I know uh, so Harriet, I know you shop small business, right? I do. I, I I shop small business pretty much on a regular. Uh, pretty much on Black Friday, I do go to some of my favorite places. I go to like the music stores. I go to my food places, um, and I go online to a lot of my friends who are vendors and artists. Awesome, awesome. What about uh, Sabrina and Mike? What about you there with your big mutt that we hear in the background? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, no, our whole town is pretty much a small business so it's every time we go out it's that's all we get because we have nothing else so yay <laughs> <laughs> all right i suppose this is where we go into the basic disclaimer i mean first of all you you guys know obviously we are not spooky we are not voices in pd's head we are not official staff you know as a matter of fact spooky didn't even like us because we tell the truth, we tell it how it is, something like that, I don't know. But uh, but basically, um, yeah, I mean, basically Jason is more popular at, at, among the counselors at Camp Crystal Lake than we are. <laughs> I mean, that, you know, I, you know Freddie, Freddie. <laughs> oh, Rob? I, I, well, I'll, I'll steal the line. Freddie is more popular with the Elm Street Homeowners Association than we are at most, uh, by, by most people, the, uh, the the event, so. Yeah. So, and, and basically because of that, you know, we uh, we, we say bad things on here. Uh, so if you're easily offended, get the fuck out. Um, official information, of course, is always at SpookyEmpire.com or their Instagram or social media, you know, wherever. So that being said, fuck you. That's how we appreciate and show love. Yeah. The Rita salute. <laughs> we need a Christmas card just to go over to in this shit. Oh, uh, that would just be so touching and lovely. <laughs> I love that. I love that. But we're going to be uh, spotlighting vendors tonight uh, that are doing Black Friday sales or Small Business Saturday or what is it, Giving Tuesday or Cyber Monday. Fuck, I don't know. There's like 20. It's a whole week of like holiday sales. And we got the best ones here. We got some exclusive ones to talk about. And uh, we got pictures. And I'm going to apologize in advance because while we have a screen share thing and I'm learning this new technology, it might be a little screwy. So you know what? Talk to Rob, not me. <laughs> you know what? I don't like any of you anyway, so go to hell. This doesn't work. You know what? Piss off. It's free. It's a free fucking show. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I, and I also just want to make a note. It's like these are not just vendors that are at Spooky. It's like these are ones that we personally frequent. These are ones that we shop at, the ones that we like the most. So, this is like from our heart. This is like we're putting our, our stamp of approval on them. So it's not just like, oh, my friend owns this shop, da, 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 da. That's all well and good. But no, we actually shop with these guys because we think they're fucking awesome. And that's exactly why you should, too. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So, so, Rob, Rob for me, for me, for me, for me, for me What? No, 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 no. You're jumping the gun. Just quick, quick message for everyone watching, tuning in. Stay tuned for the whole show. Listen to every vendor that we're going to talk about because at the end of this episode, look, it was a cat. A at the end of this episode, we actually have a very big giveaway that we're announcing. So if you want to be, because we, we've had a, uh, many of these uh, vendors that we're going to be talking about today, 
they've been very generous and they have donated a couple things that we are going to give away to a lucky winner. So stay tuned for the whole show and you will be really impressed with what we have. And something else just to, to keep note of before we, st- we get into all of these, now's a good time to start taking notes. Um, there are going to be a lot of vendors that we talk about. So, you know, there's a lot people that you might uh, want to buy something from for yourself. Hey, guess what? We all do it during the holidays. Um, but things you might want and want to share with other people. So make it a point to say, Hey, this is a vendor who I liked. Um, my friends, you should go get me something from there. I mean, cause look, if you don't tell your family what you actually want, you're going to get socks. You're <laughs> going to get a really ugly polo shirt. It's true. It's true. It's true. Oh, I don't know. I've gotten some very interesting thoughts from some of you. So, no, no habla inglés. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to try this uh, screen share thing here. As a matter of fact, if you guys haven't seen it, go to our Facebook page. We did a live video of Prometheus Esoterica, their uh, holiday house that they have going on, their holiday open house. Some really freaking amazing stuff. Let me see if I can actually do this. Rob, you want to talk about uh, Prometheus? Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead. Um, okay, if you're in the Orlando area and you have not visited Prometheus Esoterica yet, you're you're missing out on some really cool stuff. It's, it's basically like a spooky, creepy curio shop. It's located in Winter Park. You, you know, go to their Facebook page, get their information, and then you figure out when the best time for you to go check them out is. Um, honestly, nobody in town has anything like this. There's just some, there's a stuffed penguin folks. They yeah. have, uh, they have vintage, uh, medical equipment, if that's your thing. And then they have, you know, more, um, I guess, I guess we'll just say crowd pleasing items. They have very cool t-shirts, um, bath bombs. We did a video from there a couple weeks ago, actually only a week ago because they have some very specific holiday items that they're showing off right now. Um, some very cool kind of gothy Christmas ornaments. Even if you, you know, don't want to necessarily buy anything, it's just a place you have to check out and walk around. It's not a big store, but it's, they've got it packed with just really cool, interesting things. Every time you go, there is something different. So uh, Prometheus Esoterica in Winter Park, kind of where Winter Park, Castleberry and Oviedo. <laughs> <laughs> Oviedo all kind of come together. It's where they're located um, on 436. Please, please go check them out. Really like one of the coolest places in Orlando to go. Um, yeah, that's that That kind of wraps them up. Definitely check it out. Find them on social media. Uh, find them on their website and just get there. They actually have very convenient hours. too. Yeah, and on top of that, I mean, some of, especially those of you that are in the Krampus, because Krampus is obviously huge this time of year. They have like plush Krampus, they have like Krampus dinnerware, and they have like all these really cool vintage stuff. Like for example, it was like a Kreskin's ESP from like the '70s. Those of you that are like old fucks like me, you know, it, it, a lot of like really cool, like a uh, really creepy like ventriloquist dolls that were like all around the shop. That was really fucking. Cool. Yeah, the, the Charlie McCarthy and. Uh... Oh, the creepy red-haired one with the freckles. Howdy <laughs> doody. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I even got uh, bath bombs from there, so I have my Krampus night ready to go in the back. Oh, oh nice. yeah. So they actually have like Krampus bath bombs and just all sorts of really cool stuff, man. It's like it's it's definitely a shop that if you're in Orlando, you got to check it out. Check them out online. Make sure you like their page, uh, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook. Like their page. That's important, and you're gonna find out why in a bit. Now, you know what? I'm going to toss this over to Harriet for a second. Coffee shop horrors, because we're all like massive fans, as we all know. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. And um, if you, uh, we kind of do a what you're drinking thing. Um, and I'm actually drinking their hot chocolate tonight. Um, I bought one of their hot chocolates, um, the mint hot chocolate. Ooh. Ooh, mint hot chocolate. Uh, <laughs> Please, yes, yes, yes. We want, we want hot chocolate. I mint hot chocolate. Yes. Yeah. And it's really good. I bought that, and I bought the uh, peanut butter cup coffee. Oh. And I bought the mint, the Dutch mint. Oh, those are so good. And mm-hmm. um, I bought a couple other ones too. I bought um, the amaretto, and I bought like the the vanilla raspberry. Um, we love coffee shop horrors. And the, the I'm not a big coffee fan. I never was until they came to Spooky and started offering free coffee. 
And I said, okay, well, let me try it. Cause I'm, you know, all about helping out friends and stuff like that. And they're the ones who actually got me started drinking coffee because I, I, I flavored coffee. Now they have some that are not, not as flavored. They have some that are stronger. They have, a, they have all kinds of different uh, types of coffee. Um, so if you're a coffee drinker, check out their website, check out their Facebook page. Um, they have a brick and mortar place in Montverde and mm -hmm. they're opening a new one soon in Tavares. Um, I've been to the, I've been by the one in Tavares. It's not open yet, but they're, they're getting very close. Um, they may have a soft opening at the end of this month or into December, but, um, check out coffee shop of horrors because like i said they got me drinking coffee and i absolutely love their product so check them out and, and they're, they're great friends of us and they, they know everybody at spooky and they keep us caffeinated all weekend long mm -hmm. hell yes they do <laughs> and just to uh, mention one other thing going back to prometheus esoterica they actually sell coffee shop of horrors coffee in the store so if you don't want to order online if you don't want to make the trek out to mount verde uh, right here in Orlando, you have a place you can get some. Yeah, and like I said, Prometheus Esoterica has coffee as well as uh, the hot cocos. We were there; they had hot cocoa. And you know what? It's fucking cold out now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, like, absolutely, hands down, the best coffee. You know, and the artwork. You know what? You got to check the brick and mortar shop because, oh my god, it just. The, the, the shop itself is gorgeous with just like, uh, they have pastries, they have like breakfast sandwiches, mm -hmm. they have like, a, um, but they have a game night that they do and they do all sorts of like, you know, modern events and stuff like that. They also do cars and coffee once a month. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Uh, I forgot what, uh, it's on a Sunday, it's at, uh, crap, Sabrina's looking it up really quick. I want to <laughs> say the last Sunday, no, it's not the last Sunday of the month, second Sunday of the month. I get them all mixed up. We yeah, we so got many so many of them. Um, to, to remind us for one second here. Well, anyway, they do a Cars and Coffee. And so, you know, a Cars and Coffee is basically a small, like, get, a car show. That, the next uh, one is December 15th. December 15th. So I think that's the third Sunday or second Sunday. The next okay. one is December 15th, which is the second. Third third Sunday. So it's the third Sunday of each month. And it's just like a little car show that they end up going and it, it's in the morning and you have, you know, cars and coffee and you just hang out in that. And it's, and it's really just, cool it's about just a show and shine. It's not like yeah. a paid entry yeah. thing. It's just to show up and drink coffee and talk to other people that have cool cars and people who walk up and appreciate cool cars. It's and kind of a fun we, thing to we do. We drove two hours just to go there once. So. Yeah. Yeah, and and Gory it's Marty, uh, Gory Marty fifty six says in the chat room, I buy online because they need to ship to me. They do great shipping, you know. Uh, Roxana really takes like a lot of care in like how everything is packaged, and I mean we've done that too because we're on the east side of Orlando and they're way the fuck over on the west side. So, I, I absolutely and like I said, hot cocos. Which I love the fact that they're releasing those. Uh, you can see on the screen there they've actually got ten percent off of like three different coffees there through November thirtieth. So there's your big deal right there. Uh, CoffeeshopAhars.com. Check them out on Facebook to see where they're actually going to show up because there's always an event that they always show up at. You know, so that's something else to definitely keep in mind. And then let's see. Oh God, <laughs> and I know Rob wants to talk about this one. Sideshow sauces. Yes, sideshow sauces run by sadists. <laughs> Fucking talented sadists, but sadists all the same. Um, yeah, Matt and Angie, they do a, a variety of just amazing killer hot sauces. Um, they're going to be doing a Black Friday special. Uh, everyone's seen these sauces before if you've been at Spooky, but it's buy one sauce, get the second one for 50% off. So that's, you know what, you can get your hot sauce fix right there. Uh, they also are doing really cool dry rubs uh, that have been really successful for them. It tastes great. I'm I'm waiting to get one on my meat. It's a, it's a dry rub, and I'm looking forward to rubbing my meat with it in a dry manner. Yes, I'm 13 fucking years old, okay? <laughs> and, you know, okay, so dry rub jokes aside, they even do more uh, again. This this is why they're assholes because they're not just good at making hot sauce. They also do you know Reaper Roulette, the Satan's Nutsack Challenge, and then they do props as well. 
and really well designed handmade props. They have the skull lamps that everyone's seen. They have the Audrey two, uh, the little shop of horrors plant monster plant, you know, miniature ones of those. And ever, I think at spooky this year, they had the nightmare on Elm street phone with the tongue coming out. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's stupid. No one should be good at this many things. And somehow they are, uh, forks with, you know, eyeballs in them, you know, just too, too much good stuff. Yeah. There you go. So, um, again, they're hot sauce, buy one, get one 50% off, uh, on black Friday. So take advantage of that. And just again, the props, you can go see what they have over at skulllamps.com. Uh, freakshow designs.com and sideshow sauces.com. So good, okay, yeah. good stuff. Right here. Right here. So, yeah, you can see custom, custom skull, skull lamps, lamps. Uh, you know, and of course, you've got uh, your handmade props, the, sh the sauces, but uh, the dry rubs. Oh my God. I mean, the dry rubs are something I'm actually looking forward to because it's like, you know, especially for holiday meals, I, you know, fuck stuff in your turkey, you know, it's a dry rub for some mm -hmm. man. <laughs> yeah, we got really, the Vamp Slayer one, and it's really good. Yeah, I literally, I'm salivated thinking about it. I may just be hungry, but I mean, you know, I mean, just, just look at all. Hey guys, dry rub. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Rob, talk about um, the the uh, Satan's nuts challenge because it's like they're doing like the Reaper Roulette too. Uh, yeah, just to real quick, the Satan's Nutsack Challenge. I, we've talked about it before. I think we talked about it last week. Just a reminder that they're fucking sadists. Um, <laughs> they have a reaper, a dried reaper powder that they put into basically chocolate. They coat two nuts with this new chocolate reaper mix, and then you stick it in both sides of your cheeks for at least five minutes, and um, and then you suffer a slow, painful death later that day on the toilet it's horrible um and why do we do it i guess it's fun and we're stupid so you know again freak show hyphen designs sideshow sauces.com with an s at the end and uh skulllamps.com look at all the crap they have and you know enjoy the hot sauce because you will regret it later you might that's <laughs> You know, it's it's really funny because actually uh, Rob is responsible for the Reaper Roulette thing. So if you actually try the Reaper Roulette, it's all his fault. <laughs> I think Reaper Roulette is actually a game you have to play with your friends. What it is, it's, it's I think, five or six chocolate bullets. One of them has the Reaper, like the, the Reaper powder in it. So five people get a nice, pleasant milk chocolate candy. The other <laughs> does not. So, you know, that's that's how the game is played. Fun for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because Robbie's in the chat room and, and she said, they may be an awesome what we do in the Shadows lamp. It's so detailed. I love it. Yeah, they, the custom lamps that they do are absolutely outstanding. Yeah, we got a um, Nightmare Before Christmas one. Mm -hmm. oh, that's so cool. All right. Well, actually, you know what? Uh, Deviant Dolls, I think Harriet knows this one as well, don't you? I do. Um, I uh, Linda is the artist of Deviant Dolls. Um, she, you may have seen her at Spooky at the Wyndham. She's usually right there at the entrance or exit to the vendor room in the main hall. Um, she's been there, I think, three years now. She was at Spooky recently in Tampa. Um, she's become a regular vendor, and she's one of our favorites. Um, but uh, she does um, all kinds of hand painted dolls. Um, she'll take uh, some existing dolls and kind of twist it around and make it sick and and horrifying. Um, <laughs> she also has um, custom matchboxes, and I purchased this from her years ago. And what's really cool about it is she put like a different facade on the front, and all the little drawers on the sides are matchboxes, and then you have the matching. You have the matching on the side. Um, she has a lot of those, and those are, I've seen people buy multiples of those for like stocking stuffers or things to introduce their friends to this artist, um, and so on and so forth. But uh, Deviant Dolls is the name of her, um, is the name of the company, the name of the business, and uh, I think Demi's pulling up some of uh, her pictures right now. Yeah, she does awesome stuff, man. 
Yeah, and she she repurposes these dolls that she's found. She does. She's gone through some estate sales, and um, she'll actually have like live openings of of you know she'll find like boxes at estate sales or suitcases and stuff like that, and she'll do a live opening, and then you know it's like okay, this is what I found, and blah 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 blah. Well, then she'll repurpose the dolls into what you see before you. Some of it's um, cute and sweet, and some of it's not so much. And um, she also does like this. She'll she'll repaint um, like some statuary and um, to look like it has skulls. She's done like flamingos. She's done pigs. She's done all kinds of different animals, um, and so on and so forth. There's one right there. So uh, yeah, check check them out. Deviant Dolls on Facebook. Um, Linda is the artist, and she's one of our, uh, she's a regular, and she's one of our favorite artists at Spooky. Yeah, because I mean, um, our, our daughter actually uh, got this ridiculous ostrich puppet from her. Mm -hmm. I, I forget what the name of this puppet is, but it, the, the thing is so incredibly hideous, and like it's been with my daughter since she was a teenager. She's an adult. She's flown the nest now. But it's like she brings that stupid ostrich everywhere with her. And it's so insanely creepy. And she's in love with it. And oh my God. Right. You know, you know, and I, I gotta say, um actually she was kind enough to donate to the gift basket that we'll be talking about in a bit. And just Ooh. Uh -huh. nice. Nice. this could be yours this, this is absolutely gorgeous i just oh my god this is cool. yeah this is absolutely beautiful and uh just another suggestion as far as like the dolls and stuff i honestly think oh and these are the, the matches as well so oh, yeah. basket uh -huh. so yeah um and because as far as getting one of her dolls i suggest getting one and putting it in nativity scenes around your neighborhood <laughs> That's, I'm serious. It's like we'll do like I don't know cartwheels or something for the people that like do something like that because I know some of you like me live in suburban neighborhoods where you can actually <laughs> you can do stuff like that. <laughs> but, but please, if you do that, we beg you, please take pictures and post it because we have yeah. to see that and have proof because that would be the ultimate. That would be the ultimate thing to see during the holidays for fans like us for smooth. Yeah, like one of the yes. killer clown dolls. Ugh. And, and yeah. one one last really important. Remember how I said take notes, everyone? That that wasn't just BS. Um, fifteen percent off for our viewers at Deviant Dolls. Use the code Ultimate Guide fifteen. Okay, so there's your take take notes. If you want something this weekend, go and get it. And again, Ultimate Guide fifteen fifteen percent off of your order. So um, check them out. Take advantage. See, it, it pays to be like a fan of ours because we get you discounts and, and you can get like a little killer clown baby and like, you know, replace baby Jesus with it. I love this idea. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not even kidding. Like I want to get like a little, little Reagan doll or something and put that in a nativity scene. I'm loving this idea. <laughs> Mike, can you do that? Like do oh oh at school because you work at a school you could totally do that couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about dildo. just totally replacing uh, baby Jesus with a dildo in somebody's nativity scene. Get a rabbit, you know, and just turn it on and watch it go. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love that. But yeah, just just as a reminder, <laughs> like Deviant Dolls Ultimate Guide fifteen it gets you a discount. Boom, there you go. Um, now, one of the ones, while we don't necessarily have any um, anything for the gift basket, let me see if I can actually, do, 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 do. and I'll pull them up in a second, but this looks like butterbeer, right? Yes. Okay, this is a candle. That's not butterbeer? It's a candle? It it is. It's just um, they've been a vendor at Spooky a couple of times. Uh, sugar geek, the sugar and geek candle. You know these. Oh my God! They make these amazing pie candles. Actually, you know what, Rob? Talk oh, about is that that pie one that you got? Uh, yes. That one here? Oh, okay. I'm pull up the website, but uh, Rob, talk about it for a second. Well, they're candles, <laughs> and. <laughs> They're done in elaborate and impressive styles. In fact, they look like she does pie-scented ones that look like small pies. Uh, they smell 
heavenly. Last uh, last year, we gave some to my mom and to my sister for the holidays. They were very well received. So, they don't um, taste good, though. Taste good. Yeah, you know what? That's I was hungry that, and tried to bite. Nah, yeah, it doesn't. That's doesn't go that's well. that's just a matter of opinion. I mean, I don't. It, I've eaten worse wax. I've been wax lips as a kid. That's worse. Okay, they they okay, recently they opened a, a brick and mortar in um in Mount Dora. So those of you that are actually going out to Mount Dora for uh you know yo oh, yeah exactly, they they've got a shop in Mount Dora. And let me see if I can just pull up the Etsy here real quick. But just to give you an idea. Oh my God! Hang on. Right. Hey, Mount Dora right. is only like thirty minutes from us. I mean, she does amazing ones. Like uh, as you can see, there's the Saint candles there. Um, there's an Elvira one. It looks like. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's see, candy cane. Candy Again, lane. that's a candle. It's not really Elvira. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Judge Judy one. Yeah, just as an example, though, I mean, look at the pumpkin waffle there. It's like, and it, it's, they're so beautiful, you don't even want to burn them because, oh, okay, does she have any of the other ones here? Uh, she's got like skull ones, she's got wax melts. Let's see if there's something on the second page. Hopefully, she's got some of the pies here. Oh, Jeff Goldblum, because, you know, come on. And then, oh my God, I mean, just look at those skull ones. Oh, wow, got. those are gorgeous. Yeah. And of course, Golden Girls, because we know people on our dais are our fans. <laughs> oh man! And then, uh, oh, there we go. Perfect example. Wow! Look at that pumpkin pie. It literally looks like. And I, I, I'm telling you, look her up on uh, Etsy or Instagram because these are the best thing for for giving, especially like during like holiday dinners or whatever. I mean, just you know tricking somebody and coming out with a pumpkin pie candle as opposed to, oh, geez, I didn't even look at that. Look at the cinnamon bread pudding. Ooh, key lime. Key lime pie. Uh-huh, key lime pie. I like pudding. <laughs> Fruit loop. Cinnamon roll. Mm-hmm. But this is exactly oh, I'm telling you, it's like they were at Spooky one time a couple years ago, and I've been a fan ever since. And because of stuff like this. I mean, the Fruit Loops. Look at the Fruit Loops. Oh God, I love them. Love them. <laughs> now, now I'm fucking hungry. Okay. <laughs> All right. You, you know what, Rob? Talk. Tell us about Luna Moon Gothic. Well, as a lover of fine jewelry, um, <laughs> what can I say? No, uh, Luna Moon Gothic. If, Luna and, and Nathan have been vending at Spooky for for a while, and if you've seen their stuff, it really, really just great bracelets necklaces um always have something kind of clever on them to say so if you're one of those people who, yes I, I see a few people who like to wear them way to go with that uh enamel pins they also you know you might have seen bora the witch hanging out with them at their booth we love bora we all love bora um anyway they oh again spooky regulars great jewelry and they're doing something really cool with all of their sales. Now they are doing a sale um, from November 29th to December 1st, 20% off store wide. So that's pretty nice deal. And here's, here's another reason why you should love them and why you should buy from them because they're, this is how awesome of people they are. Um, a pro portion of their proceeds are going to go to compassion Compassion Kind Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, it's a disaster relief group, helps out people and animals. Um, they've actually gotten, you know, they've done a lot of work in Puerto Rico. And here's the kicker thing about Luna Moon Gothic. They actually adopted a dog from Compassion well, Kind Foundation that was abandoned uh, during all the disasters in Puerto Rico the previous year. So they own it. They have a Puerto Rican puppy now. <laughs> and no here and so here's where it gets better they adopted their dog uh earlier in this year and they just recently started fostering a second dog same situation so you know that's the group that they're working with so they're obviously it's a good charity anything you're buying from luna moon is going to go straight you know or not everything but a portion of it is going to go into 
uh, this charity. And that's a, that's a great thing. So, you know, you're, you're buying yourself cool stuff. You're helping a small business and you're helping a charity. That's a, that's three good things right there, man. That's pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. So lunamoongothic.com, you know, you're, Dimensions yeah, pulled yeah. it up. Yeah, look at all the different things. The dolls. I mean, oh the dolls, dolls are one of the killer things there. I mentioned the jewelry, but the the Elvira doll they had. Uh, yeah, I mean, just just take a look at these. Yeah, I mean, I'm wearing one of the necklaces right now that I got like a couple years ago, actually. But I mean, from the pins, and I actually have that that Krampus pendant right there. I mean, that's like you know perfect. I love that that cameo. And uh, of course, everything from Spooky Bitch to Ghostbusters to Evil Dead. I mean, she does these amazing scroll necklaces. And of course, we've got the pins there, you know, and then the bangles, which I have a couple of those as well. And the artwork. Look at that. I mean, oh, that's just oh, that's so beautiful. And we're going to be talking about Bora, but uh, we got actually something special and exclusive coming up from Bora with us uh, soon. So what, what actually, you know, when will that be, Rob? Uh, we next actually same bat time, same bat channel. It'll be uh, next Sunday, next Sunday, nine o'clock. We will have an interview with Bora and, um, you know, Luna Moon and Bora have kind of an exclusive little something. They got a little project going on and Dimension and I have actually witnessed this project and we're not going to say what it is. I will say that if you thought Bora is funny, if you, if you get a, uh, if you get a laugh out of some of the things she's done, you will die laughing over this. It's, um, it's yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's it's r riotous, you might say. <laughs> At least if you're over a certain age. So I, and I'm saying no more than that, but I, I I thought it was a riot. I was so happy, and I'm glad they 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 worked on this project. It's it's impressive. Yeah, but uh, I mean, Luna Moon Gothic. I mean, like I said, you you saw the uh, the poison apples that she does, the dolls that she does, the artwork that Nathan does. I, I, Jesus Christ! I just yeah. And like Rob said, twenty percent off store wide. Uh, you know, uh, November 29th to December first. So um, and of course, I mean, the whole giving thing. You know, compassion, kind. Who doesn't love dogs? If you don't. There's something fucking wrong with you. And mm -hmm. yeah, I mean. We actually heard, uh, you know, Sabrina and Mike's, you know, pooches in the background there because they, they like to pop in. Cause yeah, they're she's snoring really loud right now. I keep on having to mute the mic because it's really loud. <laughs> but yeah, definitely Luna Moon Gothic. We, oh my God. It's, and I can't wait. And we are so excited to do this whole thing with Bora. We got some shit planned. We, we got some shit planned for the holidays. We're going to do the holiday spooky right. That's for damn sure. Yay, holiday shit. Yeah, holiday shit. Holiday shit will come in. Yeah, okay. But um, okay, alchemy and artistry. I know this is one of my personal favorites um, because if you've seen those. Wait, 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 wait. Just wanted to back up. Luna Moon has also donated for our gift basket. Yes, so yes, yes. We have items over here somewhere. Uh, everything. Oh, and Prometheus Esoterica, we've got uh, tarot cards here. So you got a gorgeous tarot set. You know, they're and they're shiny. They're metallic, so they're shiny. Ooh. So, oh yes. Uh, let's see. We've got one of the pins here from Luna Moon Gothic. We got all sorts of stuff over here that I'm totally not finding at the moment. But you get the idea. But anyway, and there will the be box. pictures later of everything. Yes. yes. So stay tuned to the Facebook page. Okay, so alchemy and artistry. Um, I mean, they have done like all these absolutely amazing lanterns that I'm personally a fan of. I mean, I think you guys have probably seen those at Spooky, right? Yes. Yeah, I believe so. All right, I'm trying to pull this up here. So, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, the big thing that I know that they they do are are the cameos, the uh, like the the little pendants. Um, forget how to describe them, but with the figure imprinted on them, um, they have a variety oh, yeah. of those. Yeah always um big deal and actually that in particular oh here we go yeah. that in particular is what you can get a discount on through the holidays it's starting i believe it's already going on now but maybe wait till black friday but 30 percent off of all cameos uh just use the holiday code holiday 19 see how that works mm -hmm. holiday 19 all one word in caps and that'll save you 30 percent off of all of those these cameos that are that are awesome if you have a 
kind of Victorian thing going. This this looks good. I saw that from that. I, I, think we, we got oh, I just one. saw that Blinker cameo. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh, God, these are gorgeous. Oh, so between these, and honestly, one of the things I wanted to show off, um, let's see, where is it here? The lanterns, but I want to talk about the uh, the octopus stuff that they uh, recently put out. I mean, look at these. Yeah. Oh, those okay. Are cool. Yep, yep. We've seen those. Yeah. Just, I mean, these are actually one of my favorites, and I'm saving up for one of these, because look at the martini one. I love that. Everything from Harry Potter to Nightmare Before Christmas. To there's, a, there's an octopus one. Mm -hmm. Beauty and the Beast, because I know Rob's a big fan of Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but I mean, especially. Yeah, I, think, I think they had a Sleepy Hollow one, and I, I really contemplated getting it one year. Yeah, there it is, right there. Yep, that's it. So, yeah. so if you want to buy something, you know, and you don't know what to get, get Harriet the Sleepy Hollow one. I think she would be your best friend for life. Yeah, my birthday's Tuesday. See? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a perfect gift. <laughs> there we go. And now, and now, you know, especially, and now that you've got the discount code, right? Oh, perfect. This is, this is why we hook you guys up. Oh, hold on. Well, no, the it. discount code's for the cameos. Oh, oh. I suck. Okay. Well, there's What's a cameo that? I like too. It had an anchor on it, so you can do either or. You can do the cameo. <laughs> I'll take either one. Yeah, and just oh my god, look look at that's very <laughs> generous of you, Harriet. Oh, thanks, Rob. But look at those; those are adorable. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. But I mean, just those are the the octopus stuff there. That stuff is fantastic. That's so uh, cool. Oh, and. They are actually going to be at a couple of places locally. Uh, let's see. Uh, Will's Will's A Fair on December 1st. Uh, Holiday Matsuri on the 13th of December. And Atomic Holiday Bazaar. So they're actually going to be, if you're out and about doing holiday shopping at a lot of these places, which we highly recommend doing, um, they're going to be there. So you can pick up that Sleepy Hollow lantern and give it to Harriet. Yeah, yeah. Please do. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll love you forever. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, five minutes. <laughs> forever, five minutes. Tomato, tomato. All right. Depends on how weird you are, let's be honest. <laughs> it's a shared no, moment. No, no. Shared moment. But wait, no, anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> making the penises kiss. All right, anyway. Um, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> It was, they were having a moment. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. This is one that we're a big fan of. Um, Halloween hot sauce. Now, we love our sideshow sauces. Uh, Halloween hot sauce is a little different. The way They send theirs in, like, these handmade cedar coffins, and they're just so beautifully done. The, the guy that does them, um, he does all these great Halloween props and stuff. Um, uh, Victor the Undertaker. And, I mean, Rob, it's having that, that stuff on pizza. Oh. Rob, talk. Yeah, Halloween. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> uh, these guys, I have. It's been a while since they've been at Spooky, I think. Um, but uh, their hot sauce is outstanding. Uh, they have a a bat one in particular. That's the, a cayenne pepper based one. That's really, really good. Um, I would just devour that on pizza until my stomach, you know, reminded me why I don't do that more often. Um, <laughs> And actually, this holiday season, they're having a Krampus hot sauce. So, Which you know, I'm trying to bring up now. Yeah, check out uh, HalloweenHotSauce.com. Uh, they're also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the social medias. And uh, find out more about their hot sauce. Man. We we also, uh, both Alchemy and Artistry and the Halloween hot sauces, both uh, will probably be donating for the, the gift basket as well. Again, stay yes. tuned. Yes. So that we can show you pictures, but their their sauce is, is fantastic. Oh, okay, I remember seeing these ones before. Yeah, they had the Doyle hot sauce, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Which we're actually ordering for ourselves. So, but uh, yeah, the the Doyle hot sauce and uh, the the Krampus one. But I mean, just look at the way these are done. They even have like a three set there, which are absolutely fantastic. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. And so if you're if you're a fan of hot sauce and carpentry. Um, this, this hits you. Uh, this is the one, two punch you've been waiting for. Yeah. 
but seriously, I'm like, this stuff is hot. I'm not talking this like this is seriously, seriously hot. And of course, you got Merkin. Yeah, you know what? It's they have hot, but I, I got to give them credit. This was good flavor too. This wasn't, you know, they they weren't doing anything exotic. Like, um, they, it's this is just it's just good good hot sauce. You know, it's it's straight and it again hot but flavorful. Yeah, all completely homegrown and yeah. Yeah, and if you purchase something like that, like the three in the in the case or in, in and it comes in a coffin, yep. presentation means a lot too. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh yeah, think of the time that you've gotten a gift or given a gift, and you can't get that from Amazon. <laughs> right, people actually remember that, and they're like, "Oh, remember I got that hot sauce?" Yes, presentation means a lot. So if you're giving a gift or getting a gift like that, uh, just take into account the actual care that they have put into giving that to you and putting that together like that. That's really cool. And I like, that. I love the Krampus thing. Cause it's very, you know, it's, it's, you know, we're all into horror and it's time for mm -hmm. Christmas and Krampus and Krampus and horror go to Christmas. So I love it. Yeah. And, and, you know, he, he does, he literally can makes all of these coffins and the coffin case and he puts like love in, well, not, that kind of love, but he puts a little TLC <laughs> into every because he home grows all of this and this this oh god it, he does fantastic beautiful stuff. I mean apparently he's already got the stamp of approval from Luna Moon so yeah so nice. we, we recommend we're gonna be having some hot sauce in the gift basket but uh, Krampus is the big thing that they're doing this year so we're like thrilled over that um, now. Rob, and this is someone else we want to bring up because if you've been at Spooky and seen like the backdrops that they do, that you always take your picture against the backdrop, especially like the um, the mugshot one. Yeah, that's Mohawk Crew. You know, they do all the guitars. Yeah, Rob's got a thing there he's going to put on. Yeah. One moment. Let's, let's have Rob model for us here. Uh oh. Are we getting a tour? What is he doing? What is he? I have no Rob, idea. You what forget your doing. pants. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. For those of you that know about Bubba the Redneck Werewolf, uh, yeah. one of the most underrated uh, horror movies ever. You think so? Uh, love that. Oh, I fucking love that movie. Oh, well then, shit. talk about the movie. Oh, it, it's, oh one it's one of the one best things best ever. ever. It's a comedy horror movie, you know, about, you know, this. A uh, dog catcher that you know strike out with the ladies gets you know turns into a werewolf and becomes fucking awesome. Right. And it's also filmed in her hometown. So today I learned. <laughs> yeah, well, it's all it's all in Geneva and Sanford. Oh shit! I That's didn't where know the that. whole thing was filmed. Yep. yep. Oh, our backyard. What do you know? Yeah. yeah. But uh, if you've seen like the 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 um guitars that they do like the evil dead the one they did this year was just i mean they keep you know upping their game they do really fantastic stuff uh but they're going to be donating one of those wonderful bubba the red uh, redneck werewolf hats to the gift basket so support mohawk crew because they're going to be helping us out and we yeah fo follow their follow their social medias follow their facebooks um you know they every year they're they make the great props again the the, the wrestling belts the guitars for the costume contest and again, they, they provide that backdrop that everyone can get pictures. And that's just, it's there. It's just yeah, a gift free. that they give to yeah. the rest of us every year. So uh, definitely, you know, follow Mohawk crew. They're a ridiculous, again, ridiculously Our, talented Aaron people. Perfectly. Shannon and, and uh, or <laughs> Tanner and Shannon, just, they're amazing. I, I, it makes me mad again, because as someone who can't do anything, uh, then I see people who have like they've got all the talent, so I've got nothing, but they've got it all. Yeah, and we just saw Harry as pussy there. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> totally okay. Um, he likes to make an appearance every once in a while. <laughs> but that's the thing. So when you watch this, you get free pussy. There you go. That's how it works. This is because we love you. We do this because we love you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, uh, Erie, Florida. I think like Mike and uh, Sabrina have there's something there. Yes, uh, they do these wonderful books. Uh, so you got, oh god, I'm dropping all the stickers. So you got Erie, Florida, and it's uh, Erie, Florida, Chilling Tales from the Panhandle to the Keys, and it is basically it's a oh, yes stickers too. Um, it's just a book of old like 
wise tales and just, you know, different spectacles that are all across Florida. And like, so like there's, you could pretty much drive it as a map or use it as a map yeah, to visit so, all of these so places. There's the Kingsley uh, ghost horde at uh, Fort, Fort George Island, uh, Pinky, the St. John's river monster in Jacksonville, the ghost and the exploding Bishop at St. Augustine devils, uh, mill hopper up in Gainesville, uh, the devil's chair and, uh, Casadaga, um, skunk egg. Like, so there's that. Then like a year or two after that, they ended up coming out with another book, freaky Florida, uh, just all different, uh, tales again. And so it's, it's like more, yes, even more. And this one includes one that is very close to us that we have visited often because it's in the same county as us. And uh, do, 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 it is the Chris River uh, burial mounds, they're Indian burial grounds that are haunted Ooh. as book that really? are about 10 minutes away from us. Oh my yeah. god, yes, yeah. So it's really good. It's one of those, like, if we know we're going to be going like places like for. Like Thanksgiving coming up, we got to go to her grandma's house. It's a two hour drive. We're going to bring one of these books with us and kind of look to see if, hey, is there any way? You know, I kind of read the stories as he drives yeah. or something and, and like, oh, we're passing that. They have this. Yeah. And just it's, kind it's of a really fun, good. silly thing that we do. Yeah. So a great afternoon, like a weekend thing. So like just playing out, hey, we're going to, you know, spend a couple hours in the car and go check out some cool shit. Shit, that's fucking awesome. Looks like they're going to be mm -hmm. at uh, Creepy Holidays to Remember in Davenport on December 18th. So if you guys want to go meet them and talk to them in person, you've got that. Um, they're actually donating they're super nice, too. Yeah, they are. They're super sweet. We absolutely love them. And I love ghost hunting and haunted cemeteries and just fucked up Florida shit, you know. And this is like the really mm -hmm. cool up Florida shit, not just Florida, man. Mm -hmm. But um also, just if you're around, they are these books are sometimes available in Target. So you know if you're hanging out in Target because you you wanted a Target hot dog, go check out the books. <laughs> and and I have I have seen them at a Target uh, before. I wow. just caught them at um, Cracker Barrel. Yeah, Cracker Barrel too. Really? Yes. Sometimes you yep. can catch them at a Cracker Barrel. Oh. Mm -hmm. I love that they have a skunk ape like pendant there. That's hysterical. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, that's fantastic. So yeah, you got Erie, Florida, Freaky Florida. I mean, uh, Erie, Florida, Freaky Florida, and Creepy Florida, as opposed to, I don't know, Happy Florida? <laughs> All right, let's see. Ravens and Rockers. Now, I love shopping these guys at Spooky because they carry all the cool, like uh, the parasols and all the goth shit that I'm apparently too old for that I love so much. You know, like a Sourpuss and Creepsville and... Yeah, really cool outfits and uh, Raven and Rockers. They're in Tampa. Um, I haven't been to their store yet, but I'm hoping to. Rob, I, I honestly I don't shop there much. Um, they they really they they have stuff for guys. Don't get me wrong. They have cool boots. Um, I don't look good in skirts. I don't look good in brassieres. But yeah, have physical. I mean, they have a physical store in Tampa. So you know, check out RavensandRockers.com. Uh, you know, just take a look at the website, take a look at their social media. They may have some stuff going on as well. Yeah. We've been to their shop before. We were actually, uh, two weeks ago, we were, well, we were next door. We were at Pegasus right. for the Michael Graves show, but it's literally right next to Pegasus. Um, it's a nice store. I mean, it's, well, it's in a, actually a really nice, uh, strip mall too. Mm -hmm. Um, but they got amazing stuff. They got a, uh, button down, uh, shirt that I, I had to get last um, last spooky, but I saw the price tag on it, and now I realized why I don't buy button-down shirts because button-down shirts are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't dress fancy, well. guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, there, there's the shop there. Uh, the online, of course, they have Facebook and Instagram, yeah. everything. I mean, Rob, come oh. on. Tell me you don't need combat boots. <gasps> no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The gym thing there. I love that. I love that. Uh, Robbie just posted in the comments saying that uh, their store also carries uh, vintage secondhand stuff that's well priced and you'll find some cool shit. Ooh. And, and for the record, I'd probably get more use out of the GIMP stuff than I would the combat boots. I, I don't go into combat often. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, actually, you know what? This is one one that Rob visited recently. Image Motor uh, Image Motor Productions. Yeah, these guys. If you have seen the Killer Gingerbread Men, uh, I know oh, a lot yes. of people. They got a lot of attention. I know it's spooky this year. Yeah. Um, they they actually are coming out with uh, some some new Killer Gingerbread Men that are you know due out very soon. So take a look at Image Motor uh, on, on Etsy. Find them on Facebook, wherever you can. Just look at the stuff that they do because those gingerbread men, first of all, friggin' hilarious. But oh, then yeah. they also have like wall bursting, um, wall bursting, I guess like, man not mannequins, but just like faces uh, that you would put on your wall. If they have the Demogorgon, they have zombies. It just looks like the head is coming through. Bruce the shark. Uh, it, it's again ridiculously creative beautiful stuff i one of the things you look at and you're like i have every like every wall in my house should have one of these things on it yeah, um, yeah. give me a second i'm bringing it up but yeah if you got the, the big jaws that you always see yeah the oh my god the the little uh, velociraptor there oh yeah now i know i i did see these yeah, and like the dino, the uh, the wall bursting one. I've seen that. I want that on my wall. Then yep. of course we get the face hugger and oh god, look at these. I wonder if that's who made our room. Yeah, uh, again, I mean, when you just you could just this is a gallery if you just look through all their stuff. Even on top of that, squishable hearts, squishable brains, and they were generous enough to donate a squishable heart to our gift basket. So yep. again, folks you're going to want to enter this little contest because you're getting stuff from some of the best uh, vendors at Spooky. And, you know, again, yeah, there it is. There's the squishable heart. I can bring this up. Yeah. Again, the, the, those gingerbread men are perfect for this time of year. And uh, they also have some new special project. They couldn't go into any specifics with me, but They've got something else real big uh, on the horizon. So I look forward to whatever it is. Yeah. Life-size zombie heads. Who doesn't want a life-size zombie head? That's what I want. <laughs> I'd, yeah, get me one. That's what I want. Shit. But uh, yeah, Image Mortar uh, Productions on Facebook, on Instagram. And here's the thing about this. We'll go into this a little bit, but uh, the giveaway that we're doing, the gift basket, if you're on Facebook and Instagram and you like all these pages, guess what? You double your chances of winning. So just a little note there. Now, this is one that I know Mike and Sabrina are, are intimately, maybe not intimately uh, involved with, but Drex9 Studios. <laughs> Jason, you're hot as hell. <laughs> <laughs> there we go okay now that we got that out of the way um yeah no jason with drex nine studios i mean like i'm totally rocking his koozie right now on my cheap natty light um <laughs> he, his artwork's amazing um uh, the first time we met him we were just kind of walking through there and uh, i saw some of his kiss stuff and we started talking about kiss and we became friends, so yay, yay, and then we also started to drink a shit ton of beer together, and we're like, yay, so <laughs> we became good friends, um, but he does really cool fucking art, um, he does awesome shadow boxes, um, the, I mean, those things are fucking His amazing, magnets. yeah, the He's little magnets, really cool he does the pins magnets. of them, yeah. um, I don't, I think our only one of his that we got is hanging in the bedroom. I think so. But, uh, oh, his t-shirts too. I mean, come on. I yeah. mean, who doesn't love, you know, dead inside, but still horny. Yeah. <laughs> come on. I mean, we both got that shirt. Like it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. But, but so from Pee Wee Herman. He's, he's good. Uh, oh yeah. Pee Wee Herman. Uh, he did uh Vinny Vincent. Um, I know he had a couple Eric cars, which I was super, oh. that's like got me going because I'm like, Ooh, Hey, you actually acknowledged Eric Carr in there. Like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> he um, did the whole, he did a Bob's burgers. Yeah. Shadow Bob's burgers, box. Uh, shadow box. And that was, that was awesome. Fucking amazing. And, it, and it, he does it with the LEDs. So it lights up and everything. Oh, so it's, it looks really cool. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. 
Yeah, yeah and, and I think she's from doing Bella to Rob. I don't know. Yeah, actually, Rob, uh, you have those. Yeah, ten percent off. Yep. Ten percent off and free shipping through twelve twenty. Yep. Okay. So yeah, Drex9 Studios, you know, on uh, Facebook and Etsy and Instagram. And so there you go. 10% off and free shipping through the uh, 20th of December. So, I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, look, Skeletor, Trapjaw. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are beautiful. You just like nice. all of these. Oh. Yep, there's Vinnie Vincent right there. Oh, yeah. And, and you know. You only shop there if you're number three, too. So, yeah. <laughs> number three for life. Robbie gets it. <laughs> Rob, are you are you a three, Rob? Yes. <laughs> yes. No. I know. I'm actually I know my role. Disappointed that um, his uh, online code wasn't, you know, number three. Or it could be just three with the, uh, you know, the the number. I mean, yeah. the letter. Yeah, letters three. <laughs> I'm not talking so good. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Did that? That one. I guess that website really didn't show the way it was supposed to. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. And what the fuck is Rob doing? He's doing a thing. Okay. I yeah. I got no <laughs> idea what the. <laughs> I think you're talking too much for the ceiling fan. I, I I got nothing. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I'm dizzy now. It's like Sorry. A, it's like a '90s rap video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me do this again real quick with for uh, Drex Nine Studios. There. That's better. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. It's everything from Spider Man to Salacious Crumb. My favorite. My favorite. Pennywise. There's Penny Vincent. Rob, what the Rob, fuck are you doing? doing? <laughs> Silent. <laughs> but yeah, oh, we, yeah. Uh, we got the yeah. Disney villains. And we got, you know, Frankenstein. We got Boris. We've got Bella. Oh, there we go. Guardians of the Galaxy. And you name it, who does it? Look at this. Oh, it's fantastic. And let me just click back in here. All right. Uh, see, portraits, you buy four and you save right there. 10% off right there if you buy four portraits. Yeah, there's a Bob's Burgers one. Yep. Of course, and there we go. Pee Wee Herman, that's what I was talking about. Haunted Mansion, which is my personal favorite of his. Just the way he does that is fantastic. Sam, so you, you get the idea there. So 10%, all that good stuff. So yeah, definitely check them out. Direct Nine Studios. So is this is this the sign for Jason now? We just gang sign to this like this? Is it? Ah, <laughs> the German three. I'm glorious bastards. Uh, oh, well, that, that's how I always do my threes. That's because you're special. I know. <laughs> Freaking natty light and shit, man. <laughs> ah, there we go. That's the three for, for Jason. Yeah, you, you do this to Jason, and we have got a special discount for you. It's, it's exclusive. It's completely exclusive. <laughs> okay. Gotta grit your teeth at the same time, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think now this next one, I think this might have been their first time at Spooky. Let me see if I can actually bring them up here. Uh, Whispering Hollow. Now, I know I saw them because uh, they had like bath bombs and you know me, I'm a sucker for bath bombs and shit like that. Uh, let's see if we've got this here. Uh, what do we got? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. While you pull that up, I'll just run down them real quick. Uh, they do have a lot of bath bombs, uh, soaps, lotions, shower potions, They've got a couple sales going on this uh, this holiday season. They've got a make your own gift basket for thirty five dollars, which is normally sixty five. So that's a pretty healthy discount. Um, they've got a Star Wars bath bomb set for forty dollars. That's normally sixty three. Again, pretty healthy discount. Nice. Um, 
And there's also a horror bath bomb gift set for $35. Uh, yeah. Definitely check out whisperinghollowemporium.com. Uh, that may, again, we, we could go through all of the, the specials they have, but there's a, uh, there's a lot going on here. And again, if you're, look, if you're a type of person who likes your baths, if you like to soak, me, this is, this is the stuff. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh God. Look at that. That's adorable. They got heat miser. Oh yeah. I was just going to say that's heat miser. That's yeah. so and of cute. course, yeah. And I saw like on their Instagram, you saw, they actually have, oh, look, they're Krampus. Um, they actually have a really cool one that is, um, like a, a gift basket of like a lot of the Christmas ones. Yeah. Um, like they've got the Grinch and, uh, I think a couple candy canes and like a gingerbread man, something like that. But I mean, oh, I mean, they have melt. Oh my God. Look, they have the abominable snowman. <laughs> I love the that guy. Bumble. Yeah. I love him. Bumble. <laughs> Bumble's bounce. <laughs> but, uh, from the coffin, which I am always a huge fan of. Uh, there we got Sam and cool. they've got soaps and like Hocus Pocus. There you go. Um, you know, you have bath bombs and soaps and gels. One of the ones they had, I thought was really cool. They had um, like a, like a blood bag. So then they had like werewolf blood. So it was blue. So you actually, you know, you take a, a shower with like werewolf blood. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I like, like the dragon. That's cool. I love the dragon. Oh my God. Pennywise. Yeah. So instead of like going to like Walgreens and getting that stupid fucking $10 gift spray, whatever stupid shit that they always have that smells like ass. There you go. You know, come here and, and look, we've got the conjuring, the nun from the conjuring. You got Annabelle, the fucking night. Yes. King. Just, just, just a reminder, fellas, you, you know, those, uh, those gift bags at CVS or Walgreens that have like a lotion, a perfume, a soap. They're all in like a plastic box together. Ladies don't actually like that. We no. hate them. Yeah. No, so don't get those. Yeah. And, and you see, folks, I know something about the ladies. I know what ladies like. <laughs> he's a they like this. They like that stuff. The real bath bombs. Yes, yeah, yeah. what you're looking at, yes. Yeah, that's right. The ladies <laughs> like that. God, oh, yeah. Crazy. So fucking <laughs> funny. Mm, but yeah, yeah. The ladies love it. Oh, look, they've even got the fragile. <laughs> With the but lamp. Christmas story. And oh my God, this is fantastic. And this is just a small bit of what they have. You know, so it's, you know, definitely go check them out. Um, I've been following them on Instagram and I am bookmarked a couple of things because I'm definitely getting some of those bath bombs for myself because no one knows how to buy me shit that I like. So I buy shit for myself. The fuck was that? Oh, I think it was our. <laughs> All right. So yes, Whispering uh, Hollow Emporium. Um, they're going to be attending Geek Noel if you are in Alabama, uh, in Huntsville. They're going to be at Geek Noel, so you can buy stuff in person, smell the stuff in person. Um, so yeah, for their Geeky Bath products, uh, the Christmas sale, lots of discounts. Make your own gift basket for $35, normal $65. That's a huge one right there. Um, Star Wars Bath Bomb set for $40, which is normally $65, so... That's a big one. And uh, the Horror Bath Bomb gift set, 35. So whisperinghollowemporium.com, Facebook, Instagram, da 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 So that's always really, really good shit. Now, this is one that they started vending just in the past few years, Black Damask Designs. Uh, now, this is going to be, Rob, you want to do that while I try to cue this up here? Yeah, uh, the tagline is where creepy and cute collide. Uh, they offer hair clips, to hair bows, magnets, home decor, and more. Um, I gotta be honest, I'm not real familiar with them. I, I think they have vended before. I'm not sure, but I know they're still kind of building their storefront right now. But uh, you can find them on Instagram at Black Damask Designs. That's not the mask, that's Damask <laughs> with a D. Speaking of things the ladies like, they like the D. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me see if I can pull this in here. But yeah, I, I met them uh, two spookies ago, I think. The Caribe Royale, I think. Yeah, okay. So last book. Anyway, but they are, they're also doing a sale. You know, check out the, what you see on their Instagram page. And what, what they're going to have is it starts at Friday. 
Uh, and generally, it's all going to be lower pricing and free shipping on everything. So, all right, let's look at. Oh yeah, hold on, let me put the photos here. But this is where you go like and stuff. And stuff. All right. Okay. I guess the Instagram has more stuff there. Oh, but there we go. Like the little, little skeleton fairies there, and the decapitated babies. Yeah, again, you know, creepy, oh, cool. weird shit. Yeah. I like the alarm clock. That's cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, that's cute. Oh, yeah, I did see uh, the, the Ouija board uh, pillows there. I do like those. Mm -hmm. Or boxes, I think those are. Oh, the mermaids. I like that, the skull mermaids. Yeah, instead of getting that stupid like Claire's jewelry shit, go here. <laughs> yeah. Shit from fucking Walmart. Fuck you. <laughs> and and I, like the, I like when um, the artists take pictures of people who have purchased their items as well. So yes. You, you, you kind of see like all kinds of, you know, it's not, it's not just, you know, weird adults. It's kids. It's teenagers. It's, you know, soccer moms. It's all kinds of different people that actually purchase their stuff. Yeah. So I love that. <clears throat> yeah. They're really cool. And these, this is another artist that I really like, and I look forward to what they're bringing to every single spooky uh, project pixel art. I mean, if you guys have seen, um, they make portraits of those little plastic pieces, little plastic round pieces. Um, oh, that, uh, that's um, Joe. Okay, hold on. While I, while I pull that up, you, you know the, the images I'm talking about. Yeah, I got that uh, typo negative one from them. Oh, do you, do you have it handy by chance? Um, yes. Hold on. Let me go to the bedroom really quick. It's hanging up on the wall. <laughs> all right, Rob, you want to talk about them for a second while I try to pull this up? Yeah, well, it's, it's all pixelated, you know, style uh, art. They have t-shirts as well. Um, they're not doing a specific sale. Yikes! They're not doing a specific <laughs> sale, but they do have one major item that is very deeply discounted. Uh, they have a huge Jaws, uh, Jaws piece yes, that I'm is seventy-five dollars right off. Oh, All right, actually, hang on a second. That's Ooh. Oh, cool! Oh, that's uh, what I'm talking about right there. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it actually glows in the dark. Oh, that's freaking awesome! This is Very the shit I'm talking cool. about, man. Yeah, so. All right. Hang on. Uh, again, yeah. they have shirts. They have different size, uh, you know, wall art, you know, smaller prints, large ones. Uh, there we go. Yeah, there. again, take a look at all this. It's just, it's real interesting, real unique. Okay. Yeah, there's and the Jaws right there. Yeah, that Jaws is going to be $125, normally $200. Uh, pretty, pretty big, too. So take a look at that. And if that uh, was something you had your eye on, this is a really good time to get it. Yeah, and you can see this stuff in person. Uh, Gods and Monsters is having a, a 13X Studios event, basically a horror Christmas event on uh, December 13th. So they will be there. You can check this stuff out in person. I'm telling you, pictures do not do this shit justice. I mean, I don't know what those little yeah, pieces it's, are. It, they're, um, it's just little beads. It's like yeah. uh, like little arts and crap. Like, here, huh? Uh, can you... Yeah, I think you can Let's kind see of see if I get there. close to the camera. They're like little tiny beads. Yeah. Almost. Like they're not like the ones that you would put in your hair, like but they're pretty pretty cool though. Yeah, so between that, I mean, you know, Keanu Reeves. I mean, who doesn't want like Keanu Reeves like artwork hanging in the living room? There you go, Rob. That's all you. <laughs> that is so you. I'm getting you that for Christmas. No, I don't believe in Bowsetta. <laughs> it's fake. The fact that he knows who it is, <laughs> that says everything. <laughs> Sorry. Angry pussy. Yeah, angry pussy. See? <laughs> saw, yeah, she yeah, saw Angelica saw Houston, Houston, and there you go. <laughs> but yeah, it's the artwork that goes into this is fucking outstanding. So uh, check them out, and if you're going to be in the area um, the 13th of December, definitely check out that um, that event at Gods and Monsters, because some of these vendors actually will be there. So, 
that's that's big too. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Yes, we talked about the Jaws piece. Okay. Um, this is one that's been at <coughs> they've been at uh, um, Spooky for a while, but they kind of fly under the radar because they do a lot of T-shirts. Uh, DOA company. Uh, let's see if I can pull them up. Let's see. They do shirts and ornaments. Rob, go ahead. Yeah, it's 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 Death of Absolution Company. That's what the the DOA uh, stands for. Uh, again, different you know different shirts, different ornaments. You can check them out on their store in the account. Uh, they have an Instagram account as well. If you want to really get a look at all of their goods, it's uh, doaco.storeenv.com. And, and again, doaco uh, on Instagram, you can find them there as well and get a good look at all the different shirts they have. We didn't get have a, a lot of time to get a whole lot of information from them, unfortunately, but uh, we can at least show off some of their work. Yeah, no, I like this stuff because it's creepy looking. Yeah. Oh, the Sam's Club. That's what I got the Sam's Club film on it. That that was awesome. Okay. Big fan of trick or treat. Okay. And of course we got stickers there. The Brundle fly. I'm loving that shirt. Monster oh monster squad, old school. I love it. The little voodoo dolls. Oh, that's right. It's the first thing I got for them for one of those hex dolls. I do like those hex dolls. Brain soap, because, you know, for that person that you don't want to necessarily tell them outright that they smell, but you want to get them something nice for the holidays, there you go. Brain soap. Okay, we've got jewelry. We've got, uh, let's see. Oh, the fuzzy fang. I didn't see that before. That's adorable. And I like the prices, 666. See, and the, and the pussy agrees. <laughs> <laughs> we got the pussy stamp of approval. But yeah, so they're on Store Envy. You can probably see the link there, doaco.storeenvy.com. Uh, they're also on Instagram, so be sure to check them out there. Uh, let's see. And here's one of my favorites. Let me stop this screen here. One of my favorites, uh, Bruce, a lot of you know Bruce. Uh, Bone Daddy, Bruce Vinyl. Um, we actually got some stuff and stuff on the car. He does uh, vinyl decals, all sorts of stuff. Rob, you want to say something? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, just I'm a, I'm a fan of this guy. I don't really like you know bumper stickers or crap on my car. I think it's just not a fan of it. I know some <laughs> people like it. If you are, good for you. I don't. But eh, it's because you're a jerk. No, it's because you don't. Anyway. Uh, but Bruce is his his work is the exception. It's actually very unique. It's very cool. Uh, just looks good, and he's got vinyl decals for anything you can think of. And that's kind of the only stuff I I purposely put on my car. Some other stuff makes it there by chance. I don't know how. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean Beetlejuice, Krampus, Galaxy's Edge, anything you can think of, he's probably got stickers of. Uh, he also does uh, some really cool light up bottles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get in the oh, shot of some of the bottles too. Those are awesome. I don't know if the bottles. There we go. Yeah, look at that haunted mansion one. That's really pretty. Oh, I love that. Boogie boogie. Yeah, and as as Bruce has said, these they they go on other places as well. Put them on coffee mugs. Put them on your laptop. <laughs> Put them on that special someone's ass late at night so that they have a little surprise the next morning when they wake up. <laughs> I don't actually know if they would stick. You know, I don't see why it wouldn't work. It seems like it's good science. <laughs> I, love, I love the gay bear one. You know, and if it does work on skin, if you're thinking about getting a tattoo of your, your lover's name, perhaps you could test, get one of his decals instead. And, you know, yes, yes. It, that's it's a better idea, frankly. Yeah, and so you can do custom order there. All right. So, but uh, he's got a couple. Yeah, Bruce, sales. Go ahead, Rob. He's got a couple sales going on. That's going to start on uh, on Friday. Uh, use code Cyber two thousand nineteen. That gets you twenty percent off of any order that's over twenty dollars. Oh shit! And no, it gets better. Use code forty Cyber two thousand nineteen. And we'll, we'll have all this information, you know, uh, throughout the week. So take a look at it. But 40 Cyber 2019, that gets you 40% off. 
forty percent off of orders over fifty dollars. That's a real savings, kiddo. Tell me more. Yeah, well, there you go. Anyway, <laughs> this sale is going to run th from the 26th through December 4th. Uh, find him on his Etsy store, uh, Bone Daddy Bruce. And, uh, again, great, great work there. Looks like he's got a lot of the fandoms covered, too. Oh, yeah. I like that protected by flying monkeys. I love that. <laughs> okay, and Bruce has confirmed these have been used as pasties. So <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Oh, Good so to know. <laughs> Completely sold. I love it. And Rob, I'm not kidding. I'm getting that the, the gay bear one and I'm putting it on your car. Oh God. <laughs> don't don't see no see, Rob is a bear. a bear. He's a bear, bear icon. icon. No, I'm not. I'm an otter icon, but that's something else entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Bruce, thank you again. And uh, Bruce has also uh, donated. There's going to be uh, in their gift basket. There's going to be a ten dollar uh, store credit for uh, for his store. So please, you know, again, look forward to the contest and check him out in the meantime. Because honest to God, uh, love, love, love his stuff. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, and I, I, am I going to cue? Uh, Dem, go ahead and start queuing up the page for Mercury's okay. Toy Box. Because I know Harriet knows a lot about this one. Okay, Harriet, that this is all yours then. Oh, okay. Um, I think I've got the next two, um, but the next one that we're going to talk about is Mercury's Toy Box. Um, the artist is, um, her name is Steph. Uh, mm -hmm. She does it's custom painted shoes, creepy and cute furry things, earrings and ornaments, etc. I've purchased things from her for years. I've got ornaments from her. I've got artwork from her. I've got jewelry from her. I have two of her pieces here. Um, that's the website she does. She's got like uh, mirrors, like the furry mirrors that you see. Um, she does a lot of the bright colored monsters. Oh, Usually when she's at her table, she's covered in like uh, pink. Um, she's got like barrettes in her hair. She's She loves all the bright colors. Yeah. But she also does a lot of the, the weird twisted things. Um, she did some painted saw blades when Tobin Bell was there. Um, and she repurposes like doll heads, etc. And some of these little skull boxes she's done in the past. Yeah, there's the skull blade. She had one from Saw, and I think she did one for. Uh, yeah, another one down there at the at the on the left. And she does a lot. She repurposed a lot of the brat stalls. Um, she does do, ah! she does do custom work. Um, if you want a specific doll in a certain color. Uh, or painted a certain way, um, and you know she does take uh, commissions. Um, she's I've got two of her pieces hanging up in my kitchen that I would like to show. Um, yeah, that's, uh, and that you can see right there. You can press the custom order there. So yep. if you want to be like the favorite uncle to your like niece or nephew, mm -hmm. get them stuff like this because yep. their parents will hate it, and that'll make you the favorite. Yeah, it's like twisted cute. She does really a I lot of it. twisted cute stuff. But um, she's also a great artist. She's a great friend. Um, I have a couple of her peeps, pieces of from American Horror Story in my kitchen. Uh, this one she did of Twisty the Clown. Ooh. That's hanging up in my kitchen. That's and gorgeous. she also did this one from Asylum. And oh, I love that. Yeah, when I saw them, I had that had to have both of them, and I grabbed them right up. So she's done both of these. Uh, she did not do them for me. She just did them, and I said I had to have them. So um, I own them. They're in my kitchen. Um, I love them. I love. Uh, she's she's a very talented artist. Her um, she is running a special. Um, if you use the code Spooky. You get 10% off any order. And I think she does free shipping on most of her stuff. Her website is mercury.com. It's M-Y-R-C-U-R-Y.com. And she's going to be at two of the Krampus events coming up. She's going to be at Krampus Knock December 5th at Hollerbach and Sanford and the Krampus Fest on December 8th in the Milk District. And I, I'm going to try to make both of those as well. So if anybody wants to come out and talk to us and meet me or meet her or meet any of the other vendors that might be there, uh, please come out and see us. Yeah. Rob, you were going to say something? I'm just saying we're probably going to try to make the, the Milk District one as well. So yeah, we You can get an autograph 
from no, you don't care. Never mind. <laughs> no, that's the whole thing. No, no, no. You you can give him like his bear icon t-shirt because he's an icon of the bear community. Just like that one there. I just <laughs> want to know what the fuck a milk district is. <laughs> It's it's a part of Orlando where they have like some kind of hipster restaurants and, and bars and such, and it's by uh, a dairy, a uh, place where they they make milk. It's by the TGG. Oh, okay. Milk okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, over by Plaza. Uh, the Plaza. Yeah, the Plaza Live. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, yeah. are you it's gonna be in a fucking shit. parking lot for that shit? Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> We, you know, that's where we did the Krampus thing for Spooky last year. It was in a parking lot. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. So, all right. So, this one here, um, we all know him. We all love him. He's a staple at Spooky. He's one of those artists that if, if, if he's not there, it's not Spooky. Um, he actually has done some amazing artwork. If you've been to the brick and mortar uh, coffee shop, a horrors shop, there's like a big mural he did on the wall that is fucking outstanding. I mean, this is just like some of his artwork here. It, you usually see like the uh, the coffin shaped ones that he does at, at uh, oh my God, Mark Hadley, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. There he is there. Oh, I love that stuff. I'm going to save up to get one of his originals one day at some point. So um, yeah, I mean, Mark does fantastic work. Uh, he is running sales through the holidays. Um, make sure you check out studiohadley.com, which is what you see here. Or um, again, Facebook, Instagram. So there we go. I mean, I don't know. Do any of you guys like own any of his stuff? Because yeah, I, 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 have, I have several of his prints. I have two I can show. Um, okay. they're, they're the smaller ones. Since a lot of his stuff is he, he likes to work big. Yes. Um, like if you've ever if you've ever been a spooky and, and been walking by his his booth is, is relatively small, but he has huge coffee yes. shaped canvases and the colors just pop out. So mm -hmm. I, and I, I can't afford those, so I buy the prints. And this is one of them that I purchased. Oh, God, that's glare cool. over there. And then I'm going to, when I get a chance, I'm going to frame that and put that with this one because Ooh. they kind of go together with all these little kids in front of these farmhouses. Oh, and it's, for some reason, it just reminds me of old time Halloween. Oh, yeah. And, well, and I love his stuff. I bought several prints from him. And um, like you said, I eventually I want to save up enough to get an original because his stuff is too cool to pass up. I love yeah. it. Absolutely, man. It's he's he's absolutely one of the best artists there. Yep. Uh, yeah. Grindhouse video. Uh, for those of you that are in Tampa, we don't make it over to the West Coast very often, but uh, Grindhouse Tampa, they are loc located there. Uh, they're running a Black November sale that's already started. Deep discounts on many items up to $10 off. Um, you know what? Let me try to pull them up real quick. Rob, you want to talk about Grindhouse Video? Yeah, I mean, basically, look, uh, video stores still exist contrary to uh, what, you know, streaming uh, sites want you to believe. And they're a little bit hard to find, but then you've got, you know, little stores like Grindhouse Video that, you know, frankly, if you're a fan of film, a lot of good a lot of good stuff just doesn't show up, show up on streaming or God. I mean, look, I love my Disney plus, but between Disney plus Netflix, Hulu and everything else, it's pretty hard to keep track of everything. So these little these, these stores, the brick and mortar stores that are actually selling videos, you got to check them out. Um, in addition to the sale that they've got running right now, they are doing a black Friday sale. Um, $2 off all new regularly priced Blu-rays and DVDs. Pretty good deal, especially if you're going to be buying a lot of movies. That definitely adds up. Uh, grindhousevideo.com is the website. You don't have to actually go to Tampa to shop there. So take a look. But you know what? It's always good to support a local video and movie store. Uh, we need more of them, frankly. Oh, so, yes, yes. You know, you Tampa folks, people, you know, in the area represent, please support these guys. Yeah, I'm waiting for this to load here. Yeah, they're on my bucket list of places to visit when I go back to Tampa. Um, I've been seeing them featured on some of my movie sites. Oh, beautiful. And, uh, you know, I, I, I wasn't aware that that they were there and that they actually sold movies. And I, I don't know, I'm sure if they rent, but I, I think they do. But they, um, from what I understand, their, their selection is um, deep, you know. So you'll find stuff that you're not going to see. Like Rob said, on the streaming site, you're going to find stuff that's um, odd or weird or obscure. 
And that's why I need to go there because I I usually like some of the weird off off putting stuff. Oh hell yes. So Yeah, they get a lot creepy. of the stuff uh put onto Blu ray too that it's hard yep. to find. Yeah, we um, get creep shit and too. I right think there. that's also where I got my uh Cannibal Holocaust D V D I believe was from there. Oh too. shit. Yeah. yeah. Look at this three hundred and eighty pages worth of stuff. So it's like you can just go oh, to yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. Hey Michael, do you know if they do VHS or is it strictly DVD Blu-ray? No, they got they got uh, VHSs. Um, I also believe they got a bunch of uh, laser disc stuff too. Oh, nice. oh shit! Okay. Yeah, so it's a very nice place when you finally get like are able to go to the actual uh, store. <laughs> it's just like overwhelming. Strip nude for your killer on Blu-ray. Hey, if you need. They I got watched it. that with grandma many years ago. It was a good time. <laughs> oh, my oh, God, that's awesome. But yeah, this just gives you an idea. There's already like 380 pages, as you saw. So if it exists, you know, like the innkeepers, you're not going to find that, you know, on, when it's, once it's off, we, off Netflix, it's gone. But, we ended up finding a, uh, a copy of a the mid '70s Cinderella live action that turned out to be an actual softcore porn. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, we thought it was something totally different. Got home, started watching it, and we're like, "Was his dick out? <laughs> like, what the hell is going on here?" That's fucking beautiful. It's a more accurate telling of the story. It sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like, move it, moving on again. Grindhouse, uh, Grindhouse video, support them, love them. Yep, um, yep. Moving on, Zombie Head. We all know Crystal. We all know Crystal. Um, yes. Uh, Crystal has some of the most grotesquely detailed undead <laughs> adornments. And I got to be honest, some of her stuff just makes me uncomfortable looking at it. It's really well done, but ew. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, while I pull it up, I mean, while the big thing for Halloween was Joe Bob on uh, Shutter this year, she actually had one of her uh, ornaments or whatever on his bolero tie, which was really fucking awesome. Yeah. So her work has been seen on Shutter. That's uh, that's not something everyone can say. And uh, again, really impressive. Uh, it's at zombiehead.etsy.com. You yep. know, zomb it's here. And trust me, her stuff is distinctive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, hold on. But yeah, she's got, like I said, there's earrings, there's necklaces, there's fleshy stuff. Oh, wow. wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought that was a vagina there. It's a flesh heart. Okay. <laughs> why, why don't you click on one of those? And, and like I said, they, they've, they've got, ne she's got necklaces, she's got a lot of ornamental jewelry, stuff like that. But just click on one of these to get a real up close uh, look at one. Yep. Um, it's it's you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But it's like if you want something weird and disgusting to get the in laws that they have to pretend to like. <laughs> I love that. But it, that that's something different. If you want to get something different for someone, that is something different. Yeah, it definitely is. So oh good times God. there. But she does absolutely gorgeous stuff. stuff. And if someone has like colored hair, it's spooky. It's probably because of her. Yeah. yeah. Her so long. Okay, that's I can't look at that anymore. Um <laughs> Bob, look. All right, so let's we're gonna start winding this down. So we know we've gone a little bit long on this one. Thanks for sticking with us, but we've got uh, there's a reason though. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, we this is one of the uh, the guys who's kind of become iconic in the last few years at Spooky, Thirteen uh, X Studios. You've seen the the custom Jason masks that he makes for every other character that's not actually Jason. Um. <laughs> Kind of came to fame with the the silent Bob masks, but he's got them for Deadpool, Pikachu, your mom, your dad. Like he literally does. Yeah, I mean, seriously, yeah. you probably if you ask, do you have a, a hockey mask of my grandma? He probably will have one. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty impressive it's stuff. Special. Yeah, and it, he's he's at, he has. Then here's a sign of success. He has spawned imitators. Yes. Yes. So yeah, there's yeah. plenty, but 13X Studios is the original. 
and they are running a Black Friday sale going through Monday, and it's 20% off everything in stock, 20% uh, off plus free shipping. So he's a special dude. He's made special products, and they are they are there, available, ready for you. And it, again, he's got a he's got something going on at Gods and Monsters in December. So yeah, yeah. 13, you know, check 13. out the yeah, check out the site. Check out his Facebook. He's pretty active on it. Yeah, he makes great stuff. And uh, uh, Kevin Smith actually has his stuff in his comic shop. I think so. Yeah, he fills he fills orders from them. Uh, like when you're at the secret stash like website and that, you can actually like place orders there, and it goes to him, and he ships them out. He does many of those like constantly because he gets so many orders from them. Uh, he's he's a special guy. I like him. Oh yeah. Okay. Actually, since we got Mike there, uh, we did want to give one more plug before we go into the giveaway gift basket. Um, if you have not done so already, do you like beer? Do you like cars? I like beer. You like cars? I'm fond of cars. <laughs> well, Mike is actually the, the star host of uh, a wonderful webcast called Pints and Pistons. So, Mike, yes. you, you want to tell us about Pints and Pistons? Yes. So, so Pints and Pistons started actually a year and three months ago. Um, yes, uh, Friday was our 32nd um, live stream show. Oh, sure. uh, and we've also just had our first live event where we had a live car, uh, an actual car show that we had a burnout box, had the cops called on us twice. It was nice. fucking awesome. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cops, you know it's good when the cops get called twice. That, That's fucking so. amazing. Um, but, yeah, it's just me and uh, three other friends, and it's what we do on a Friday night. It's we sit around a table, drink beer, and talk cars. It's just we have a camera on us. And we make sure that uh, every episode we have two beers that we have not tried before. We're up to 72 beers. We've uh, different beers we've tried on the show. Oh, shit. Um, and we got stickers and T-shirts. I'm going to be putting in a sticker. Ooh. This is, yeah. Nice. Well, it'll be white. This is just the one that's gone on Sabrina's car. It's just this would actually show better on camera. Nice. But, yeah, that's the and Pistons logo. I mean. You can use it on your car. You could throw it away. It doesn't matter. Just you put yeah. it on your ass. <laughs> yeah. Use them on Facebook. You know, take a picture, tag us in it, and I'll be happy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? If you, you take it on your boobs and use them as pasties, whether you're male or female, he'll send you a free T-shirt. See. This is what we do for you guys. But uh, yeah, these are all like our, our wonderful vendors. We know we've run long, but we are going to be featuring every single one of these vendors we talked about, if we haven't already, on Facebook, on Instagram, because we really, honestly, truly, all bullshit aside, we do believe in small businesses. And a lot of these spooky vendors that we've become friends with, have become huge fans of over the years. And uh, just, I love these. So um, Rob, you want to talk about the gift basket? Uh, yeah, basically, we've got about uh, 12 different uh, of the vendors mentioned have given us a little something for um, from their from their shops, uh, mm -hmm. coffee, coffee, uh, coffee, rubs, statues, discount money. I mean, all sorts of different things. It's all still coming in. So, yeah, the squishable heart from Image Motors. Just again, keep an eye on the page. And here's how you're going to enter. First of all, again, like our YouTube page so you find out when these things go on. And then just keep your eye on the Facebook page. We will be reposting it several times over the week. But for everyone who donated, we want you to either like their Facebook page or their Instagram page. Yes. So if you've done our YouTube page, you've probably already liked the Facebook page if you're here. Um, and then either their Instagram or Facebook, like that, you will be entered. If you like both their Facebook and their Instagram pages. If they have them, you'll get a double entry. Um, and then we will do the drawing when we have Bora on next week. Oh, that's going to be fucking awesome. So yeah, Bora, who was in the chat, she, she actually had to call it a night, but witches, witches don't stay up all night or maybe she just had to go, you know, run and eat a child. Who knows? <laughs> anyway. Yes. Stay tuned. We will have all these details. And again, Make notes uh, as far as you know who you liked on this show. Please support them um, in the coming days and weeks and all yes, year yes. long. 
Anyway, when we do the drawing, we will get the your gift basket out in about a couple days after that, and you will have it before the middle of December, and you will be able to have all sorts of stuff. Honestly, we, we haven't gotten everything in-house yet, um, yeah, yeah. but I think we've got about $200 worth of stuff. Yes, so yes. this is a pretty girthy, generous <laughs> girthy? basket. Girthy? Girthy. Girthy. Is it, Girthy. Is, it, is, it, is it Harry? Like, uh, Harry it's veiny. Girthy. Veiny. Oh, wait. I'm not talking about the basket. Never mind. Look. Veiny. Yeah. I, look. Sorry. I'm I, I hope her pussy isn't like veiny because that's kind of gross. Kind of gross. <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, th please, like we said, please support the vendors. Keep your eye on the Facebook page. We are going to start, you know, putting these posts together with all the things to like. Yes. And uh, next Sunday, don't wait to do this. Next Sunday is the drawing. Please be, stay tuned. You will see Bora uh, hinting at a special announcement. We're going to have a great interview with her. It'll be a lot of fun. Awesome. We'll That's see you in a week. Yeah, but we are going to put together an awesome gift basket. It's going to have like some special stuff from us. We're actually buying things to put in the basket just because we love you guys. So, well, we like some of you. One of you. Maybe. Where's my five dollars? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Prometheus Esoterica, if you're entailed, ch check them out because they've got fantastic stuff. Obviously, Coffee Shop of Horrors, you know, very close to our heart. Uh, Sideshow Sauces and Freak Show Designs, especially those dry rubs. We're probably going to have one of those in the gift basket, so we're really looking forward to that. Um, let's see, Deviant Dolls, they, they're amazing, amazing stuff. I'm um, probably getting that my granddaughter, to be honest. Um, Sugar Geek. Uh, Sugar and Geek Candle Company. Um, we actually are going to make a trip out to Mount Dora in the near future, so we'll be able to tour the shop, so you can get butter beer candles, which is still fucking amazing to me. Uh, Luna Moon Gothic, who we absolutely adore with Dora, just like we talked about. Alchemy and Artistry. Make sure you get Harry at a birthday present, or just fuck you. Yeah. Aww. Get her a birthday present. Yeah. Uh, Halloween hot sauce, their Krampus hot sauce. I am really fucking looking forward to that. Erie, Florida, uh, they're going to be donating a book to the gift basket, so we're really looking forward to that because I honestly, I want to take a, a Erie, Florida road trip and visit a lot of these places like Casadega and stuff. Mohawk Crew, um, you know, obviously but, uh, Bubba the Redneck Werewolf, which is, of course, amazing holiday viewing. Uh, Raven and Rockers, you know, get your combat boots, you know, and your punk stuff so you can kick Rob's, Rob's ass. Um, Image Motor Designs, uh, you know, obviously, like I said, the big jaws mouth and all the shit they do, the gingerbread men, fucking outstanding. Uh, Drex9 Studios, you know, like three, wait, three, 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 three. <laughs> 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 Whispering Hollow Emporium, you know, with their amazing like bath stuff, which I'm definitely going to be ordering from this week. Uh, Black Damask Designs, you know, where they also had some creepy jewelry and just really fucked up shit that you should be given like to your like coworker at like the white elephant thing that you got going on at work. Yeah. That's how you really get, make friends there. Uh, project pixel art. Like you saw Mike's uh, typo negative piece, outstanding stuff. Uh, DOA company who has like shirts and shit like that. Bone, uh, bone daddy, Bruce vinyl. Like I said, we got it on our car. We are big, big fans. Mercury's toy box. You know, you saw the stuff that Harriet got there. I love that. That's fucking beautiful. Um, Mark Hadley, of course, you know, all the amazing art that he does. Grindhouse Video, uh, we've got Zombie Head, uh, Crystal Stuff, and 13X Studios, and Pints and Pistons. I know, it's it's been a lot, but it's like, these are the people that we are buying from this holiday season. So, we suggest you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Peer pressure. We knew it. You should do it, too. I like that peer pressure. I like that. I like that. If you want to be cool like me, don't you? Look, look the at ladies that. like me, and you want to be like me. There you go. Look, look at that right there. That's right. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> All right. But that was a quick recap. Uh, we're going to be mentioning more um, about the gift basket on the Facebook page and on the Instagram. Basically, you're going to like the post. You're going to um, follow all the vendors that are in the gift basket on Facebook and or Instagram. Um, you are going to uh, leave a comment with uh, 
like probably like your favorite spooky thing to do during the holidays. And of course you're going to share and invite your friends because you know, we're whores. Yeah. So and I, I think, and Harriet mentioned it. We're like this close to like a thousand likes. This close. Yeah. We were like under a hundred. It was like 89 or something like that. So we want you to share our page and have your friends. Right. Like us. We would like to make, we would like to hit a thousand likes before the end of the year. Because and, we're over for numbers. Yeah. And uh, we'll celebrate and uh, have a good holiday time when we hit a thousand. Rob will do a shot of whatever you want. I'll get drunk on the air if you really want, but hey, go, God damn, on. that was if too enthusiastic, thousand, you bastards. If we hit a thousand, Rob has to drink a Citrus County Bloody Mary. Ooh. Oh, here. Fuck me running. <laughs> 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 All right, deal. All right, you heard it here. Yep, Citrus Candy Bloody Mary. Oh, it, All right, close. I'm going before I greet anything else. Guys, thank <laughs> you for tuning in. Thank you, guys. So, uh, like the stuff, blah, blah, blah. Buy stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, everybody say goodnight. Good night. 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 Good night.